Mr. Smith, how long does it take to build a good credit score? <laughs> Glad you asked. What up, you got Mr. Smith, point five of Mr. and Mr. Smith, and in this brief video, I want to talk to you about how long it takes to build a good credit score, because this is a question we often get, whether it's from a potential client, whether it's just somebody who asks us a question in one of our sessions, or whether it's an actual client. And this question is a common question, and I get asking the question, but sometimes you can't expect microwave results for a meal that's meant to be prepared in the oven. Sometimes you can't expect microwave results for an entree that was meant to be prepared in a slow cooker. Now, this is not to say that it should take forever, but I just want you to wrap your mind around what you're asking, because most of the time when you ask how long does it take, that's a translation as, I want it done now. I want it fast. I'm not as patient. But sometimes it can be coming from an honest place, so I regress or digress, whatever the word is, and uh, and say, sometimes you may just be asking just so you can have in your mind, okay, it may take this time so I can, you know, mentally be prepared. So I will say that. Now, I will say this. If you've been damaging your credit for the past six years, don't expect results in six months. Don't expect results in a year. Sometimes you got to clean that up. Now, can you get results in six months? Absolutely. Can you get it in a year? Absolutely. But don't expect it because it's a lot of cleaning up we got to do. And most of the time, the cleaning up that has to take place is based on your habits. So it's the habitual cleaning up we got to do. It's only so much we can do in order to restore your credit. The other thing is wrapped around the things that you choose to do because it's the decisions that lead to the collections. It's the decisions that lead to the late payments. It's the decisions that lead to the things that may be damaging your credit. So if you don't change... It won't change. So you got to understand that's where it takes place the most. In addition to that, we also focus on getting certain things cleaned up, deleted. But in order to keep it off and not get new ones to come on, you have to change internally. So when you're asking how long does it take, a part of the question needs to be how long would it take for you to develop the right habits in order to have a sound credit score. Got to ask yourself that question. So don't just ask the person who you may be getting advice from or who you may be paying to get your credit restored, you want to also ask yourself that question because it's a team effort. It's a combination between what you can do for you and what whomever you're asking or paying for their services can do for you. And if you, two people are doing it together, then I promise you that's where the magic can happen. And then time won't even be a factor because you're not even thinking about it. You're just working on building a solid credit profile, which is what it's all about in the first place. So as it relates to time, we won't put a certain time on it, but we will give you some things to aim for. Now, what I'm about to say first doesn't dictate or determine whether you have a high credit score or not, but an ideal amount of time that you want to be have used your or you want to be have you want to be using your credit, but a good amount of time that you want to have used on your credit report is nine years. I think I said that right. Something about how I wanted to work that. Yeah, whatever. But nine years is a good amount. So what that means is this. That means that a person who has nine years is viewed as an adult in the credit world. They have more season. They're used to this. They're not new to this. So you want to aim for that, but that doesn't mean that you can have less than nine years and still have an 800 credit score. It's not to say that, but it does give you a little extra sauce, for lack of better words. So even if it's an account that's old and it might be showing up as negative, if it has some age to it, it could be a benefit and it might not be worth removing. So keep that in mind. Don't just go through one and to delete everything just because it's showing up negative or just because it's red. You also want to keep some of the things that may give you a little history on your report because it has its benefits. Now, I can't say this video or do this video without giving you factors that go along with boosting your credit because as it relates to your credit, it's not going to be calculated on a weekly basis. So you can't be expecting like something to just turn around right or, you know, within a short amount of time because some people are like, you know, I've seen somebody else getting their credit score boosted in three weeks and this and that and they're going off of these things that people post in order to market or sell you something or get you to hire them as their tax, I mean, their credit specialist, when in our actuality, it couldn't be further from the truth. So get out of that mentality because that can be detrimental. Have you chasing all of the wrong things without chasing quality? Quick and quality are not always in the same sentence. Now, that said, what you also have to understand is monthly payments for a duration of time 
help your score. This is across all bills. This is the loans, the mortgages, the credit cards, the student loans, the things of that nature, as well as on your regular bills as well. You want to be paying your utilities on time, phone bill, because that's the direction that we're heading. Streaming service, paying those things on time, because that's the direction that we're heading. So by knowing that, you know that you want to build a solid cushion of strong payment history. The last two years are the most potent. So, as it relates to the last two years being the most potent, if your payment history hasn't been good for the previous three months, that means we got some work to do so that these next two years look great. Not to say it's going to take you two years, but just be thinking in that mentality so you can have a quality score. Now, we may be able to get those previous bad late payments deleted if they fall into whatever categories that make us want to dispute those items however you want to start getting in the habit of making on-time payments got it good now understanding the five factors payment history that's what we just talked about that's 35 percent of your score 192.5 points that goes into payment history period point blank that's just what it is credit utilization if you have a credit card get in the habit of making those payments on time because it affects your payment history as well but Credit utilization is highly important. That's 165 points. You want to make sure your credit utilization is less than 10%. Mark my word, less than 10%. Single digits. Single digits in terms of your credit utilization. So if your credit utilization is out of whack and you have a credit card, get it down and watch what happens to your score. Come back to this video once that score jumps after you've gotten that credit utilization down from 80% to under 10% or 50% to under 10% or even 30%. To under ten percent. Come back and let us know how that worked out for you. Also, understand credit history. That's why I talked about it first. The more years you have under your belt, the better. Nine years is a good gauge, you know, because it shows that you're an adult, you're a credit adult, you're worthy, you're trustworthy, you have some credibility built in. But if you do some damage and do some great things with your credit over the next two years, or if you had a strong last year and now you're working in the this year, that's enough to get your, your score looking really potent. Because even if you had some imperfections three years ago, they're going to look at what have you done since your most recent derogatory. And they're going to say, okay, this person has gotten the big picture. They're starting to be responsible. Yeah, we don't mind loaning them more, giving them more buying power, increasing their score, all because their credit history is growing. Even though you may not have a nine years, you still have some strength in your most recent years. That's important. Credit mix. You want to have a mixture of revolving credit cards is revolving debt as well as installment debt. What is installment? That's car notes. That's personal loan. That's mortgages. That's pretty much every loan you can think about. Even some of the strategic ways to build your credit, such as a credit builder loan. That's installment debt. Revolving debt is credit cards and lines of credit. So if you understand that, then you want to have a combination because they're looking at it. Are they good at spending in both multiple or both categories as it relates to how credit is calculated? If the answer is yes, that helps your score. And if you go through our free credit class, you'll see how automatically you'll be positioned to have a good mixture just by following the tips and the tricks that we introduce in that free credit class 100% free grab it from the available link below make sure you do that you know if you don't get anything else make sure you grab that free credit class as well as that crash course because i feel it can benefit you as it has benefited many people across the nation in addition to that new credit new credit is pretty much your most recent two years how is it looking how's the payment history how's your utilization have you been late have you uh you know uh has anything negative hit your account do you have a lot of inquiries what is your most recent two years looking like? Are you applying for a lot of stuff that contributes to those inquiries? Because now they're looking at that like, okay, this person has a risky previous two years. I don't know if I want to, you know, trust them with this type of capital or this leverage. So your most recent two years. But if you understand all five of those factors and you're working diligently to make sure all five of those factors are in place, now you can win the race. And it won't be a matter of how long does it take, how quality, how much of a quality score can you build up? for the upcoming two years so that your recent two years look stellar? That's the question. 
and this is the answer. But take advantage of it. If you would like our assistance in helping you restore your credit, get certain things removed so you can strengthen your history, your historical errors that you have, you know, have on your report, then by all means, reach out, set up a consultation. And if we're a good fit, if we feel like we can serve you, then we'll bring you on as a client. If not, no big deal. We won't take you on as a client. We'll push you into a direction where we're like, hey, do this. These are our recommendations. Hopefully that helps you. So that way you can see if we're a good fit, but if not, no big deal. We just want to give you value. Make, make sure you take full advantage of the free credit class and the crash course through the link below. That's all I got for this video. Mr. Smith, signing out. Salute.